Hello and welcome to another TFO guide. Today we're going to be looking at Dranur Beach Assault. This is a ground TFO and basically the uh, the basic premise is we're going to be defending the colony from a Zenkethi assault. We'll go ahead and let it go through this. Zenkethi ships have breached our fleet blockade. We are on Team Alpha, which is fine. There are two teams. This is technically a 10-man TFO. Although they would prefer uh, two groups of five. My first piece of advice on this one is to stick, try and stick with your group. Okay. You definitely want to stick around with your group. And there are some objectives you do want to uh, take care of. Basically, we're going to buy some Jordy some time to set up the shields for the colony. To do that, we're going to stay on this level and try and defeat as many as Kethy as we can. Like I said, I definitely suggest sticking with your group. It makes it a lot easier. So we're going to take care of this Zenkethi first. Ideally, we want to keep him off this floor as much as possible. But it's pretty much sim simple as that, yep. Use your combat pets will definitely help you. You want to stay away from those uh, red cones if you can. They do hurt quite a bit, so stay out of those. Pretty much easy peasy. There is another stage to this, but we'll get to that when we get there. All right, we're holding our ground. That's good. All right. Like I said, stick with your group. Always a better idea. Now we'll go to the next phase, which is the beach assault itself. So there's a few tricks we can talk about on this one. For the most part, you can stop and destroy those cover shields, but I would recommend just ignoring them. If you can. Obviously, auto turret will kick in. But, for the most part, just try and ignore them. Oh, 
It's the mortars for anything that you want to get rid of, but. And of course, the troops, of course. So now there will be transport enhancers. We're going to go ahead and. You know, these troops here. guys out here all right so there are three transport inhibitors in place one of them is up being up here please one of them is up here so uh, one little trick about this the transport inhibitors if you use the lucuri look Kari wrist device, uh, the healing ability from the wrist device can actually heal this uh, this little generator here. So keep that in mind. Transport inhibitor three is working. All right. up. So now what we need to do is transport inhibitor four now online. Basically, we want to protect these uh, inhibitors as we can. If they go down, we go down. There will be basically shuttles coming in later. What? I don't think we're there yet with the uh, shuttle crash, but. All inhibitors are up and running. You got atmosphere. Well done. Here we go. Here we go for the, the, the assault now. We want to stick around by this thing. Not that we can, we can heal it, because we don't have the Lakari rest device on my this tune, but I do want to try and protect it as best I can. So we have five more seconds here to wait. Attack shuttles incoming. Protect the inhibitors. And we failed on that one. So we need to go to one of the other inhibitors. We need to make sure one of these inhibitors survives. We lost the one we were at. Heads up. An elite squad of Zenkefi is beaming down. We see this shut up here.
So as you can tell, this isn't exactly an easy uh, GFO. It takes a while for it to queue up because it is a 10 man. Uh, and by 10 man, it is actually two groups of five. So to group do this as a pre main, you need two full groups of five. You need to queue at the exact same time, or roughly around the exact same time. It's set up a lot like the competitive maps. All right. Now, of course, the obelisks do help. We need to hold out for another 10 seconds here. Need at least one of these inhibitors to be uh, good to go. That did it. You're not sending any more shuttles. There we go. Well, as I said before, the most part of this one, you definitely want to just stay with your group. Help your group as much as you want and protect those inhibitors as best you can. Uh, as I said before, it's that's pretty pretty plain and simple. Uh, the Lucari wrist device is definitely a, a uh, not a must have, but it definitely helps. Uh, it is the only thing that I know of that will actually heal the inhibitors. So keep that in mind. But I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. I hope this uh, gives you some insight into this particular TFO, and I hope to see you next time.